Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a October love reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are subscribed already, thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you will be subscribing, welcome to the family. I have pulled some romance angel cards off camera. I'm also going to pull some moonology now. Feel free to check out the links below. I do appreciate it. Let's get into your reading. Take what applies, leave the rest. And if you are a Taurus sun, check out your rising and moon videos as well for additional confirmations and messages on my channel. Okay, so we have some juicy cards here. We have release your ex, passion. This card has been coming out for almost every single sign, I swear. Expect powerful change, my God. Passion, true love, and calling in your soulmate. I do feel like to tell you, Taurus, that there could be a, I believe there's a full moon around Halloween or on Halloween, so you may want to use that to your advantage. Okay, you can look into that, um, get some knowledge about that, okay? And use it to your advantage, all right? Emotions are running high. A personal issue reaches resolution. Okay, there was an issue. And have faith in your dream. So the colors that stand out to me is purple and blue. So the, the blue speaks to the, the throat chakra. The purple speaks to the crown chakra, the head, the knowledge, as I was saying, Taurus. Okay, you need more information. Now, this is kind of a strange message right out the gate, but hold on with me. Bear with me, okay? You need more information about this true love, this passionate connection, okay? There's something that you don't know about this person, I feel. Side message. Now, the main message is that the time has come. The time has come to clear your energy, Taurus. Okay, that is the main message I'm getting here. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Let's get some zodiac signs here. Communication. The Emperor. This could be a divine counterpart. This could be a divine counterpart. Page of Cups. Three of Cups was at the bottom of the deck. I just shuffled. Eight of Wands. The Emperor. Okay. Mm, Page of Cups. Eight of Cups. Woo. This is tricky. This is a tricky energy here that I'm seeing for you, Taurus. Let's get like three more cards here. Eight of, ah, oh, eight of, ooh, eight of swords, nine of pentacles, and the four of pentacles. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And a bonus is the hermit. Wow. Okay, fellow earth sign like yourself. This is the Virgo card. So if you are dealing with a Virgo or an Aquarius, there is your confirmation right there. Okay. So somebody here is either going to walk away, wants to walk away, or has already walked away. That's very clear to me. Very, very, very clear to me. Um, I do feel like you want communication, though, but someone's going very, very slow. Mighty slow, Taurus. Um, why is this person, why are you and this person not talking? Why are you and this person not talking? Because the emotions are running high. I could see that. Yeah, the emotions are running high. So we got new moon eclipse. We got super moon, full moon in cancer. And we got waxing crescent moon. So we have a lot of interesting dynamic here, dynamics here to this, this reading. Playfulness, trust, forgiving, and learning. Cut the deck. Let your friends help you. Okay. Like I said, Taurus, you need more information. Exactly. With a let your friends help you card, that's a signal from the universe that you don't have enough information. If you want to walk away or you need to walk away, you're feeling trapped, you're feeling kind of a uh, bah humbug about this. There's something that you don't you don't know. OK, so what is that? What are they? What do Taurus does not know about the situation at hand? What do, what do they not know? What what do they not know? Seven of Pentacles, reverse, five of cups. Yeah, this is a missed opportunity. Shit, this is a missed opportunity, Taurus. The moon, the moon. Okay, so bear with me. I'm getting different messages. I'm hearing hidden pregnancy. I'm hearing hidden third party. I'm hearing this person could be married. I'm getting different messages here. Okay, for a lot of you, this person could be actually taken or married or in a committed relationship. I'm hearing a, I'm hearing exactly a committed long term relationship. Okay, this person could be taken already. So this person could be stringing you along. Now, here's a synchronicity. Look at look at how powerful the synchronicity is with your reading, Taurus. We have the eight of cups and the eight of swords. These are two eights in a row. I just realized that we got four, eight, eight. A lot of, oh my God, I knew it. Eight of, so eight, eight, eight. Um, I think eight, eight, eight also speaks to um, abundance, like unlimited ideas, wealth. 
um, prosperity, good health, good fortune, I believe. Look into the number 888, Taurus, okay, if you feel led to, or 88, the number 8, the, signif the spiritual significance of the of 888, okay, 8 of cups, 8 of swords, 8 of wands, <laughs> wow, mind-blowing, that's mind-blowing, okay, so, you could have felt like this person was your true love, you could have felt like this person was the one, right, you probably still could feel this way, but there's a lot of energy here with this person not matching your energy, this person not putting forth the same effort, Taurus, that you're putting in, Something about affection, emotion, time, effort um, is not being matched. So that would explain it for me. Okay, this is a general reading. So I'm just going to tell you what the most dominant message is that I, that I feel here, which is if this person is taken, then chances are this person's using their resources, their time, their love, their affection on somebody else, right? It's just common sense. So... With the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords and the Page of Cups, that's a clear indication to me, Taurus, that you were the one giving. You were the one who was standing in the gap, making the effort, you know, even making excuses to your friends and family about why this person's not stepping up to the plate. Okay, your family could know this person. A new start, a new start. This is a beautiful card. New moon, a new start is coming. So this could be a scenario where even your your friends and family have been putting up with this, and so have, and so have you. Okay, if there's like some kind of inter intertwining here, if you're if if you are married to this person, that's another possibility already. But there's still third party there. If you are married, I'm getting a clear third party message. Now, the other message I'm getting is that it could be a scenario where you felt so strongly about this connection, about this true love, the soulmate, whoever this is, to the point where you've told friends and family. And you and I feel like Taurus, you feel like you've had to make excuses for this person. You've had to kind of explain to people why this person's not doing what they should do. And, and all it's left is, is making you feel bound. All it's really left is making you feel like you're not loved. So, you know, that's not a good situation to be in if you feel like you have to make excuses for this person um, as to why they're not doing what they say they're going to do or they're not, they're not giving you time of day. They're not paying attention to you. They're not, they're not giving you that respect. You know what I'm saying? So I think this person is very preoccupied. I just feel that this, that this person's preoc preoccupied with the six of wands. Um, that's what I feel. This person's preoccupied. Temperance could be a Sag Sagittarius, could be any fire sign. Okay. Taurus. Yeah, this could be a fire sign. This person could be a party goer. This person could be very popular. This person could be very, very attractive. Could even be a celebrity for some of you watching. So this person has a lot of people, you know, is, is, you know, is in a lot of social circles I'm seeing here. So the person you're dealing with is on the run. That's that's the reality. The person that you are dealing with, if this applies to you and resonates so strongly, this person's on the run. And it's leaving you confused. It's leaving you feeling like you've been beat up emotionally, hopefully not physically. God, goddamn, hopefully not. Okay, if it is, get out of that shit. But if if it's emotional, right, with the three of swords and the eight of swords, sword, sword, then it's it's making you feel like you you, you know you're you're down. Whatever this person's doing or lack thereof is making you feel like you are not worthy. And I'm here to tell you, Taurus, that's not true. Okay, this person's actions towards you are incorrect. So what is the advice? What is the advice? What is the advice? Yes, 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 and yes. Conclusions are within reach. Okay, that that to me translates for this reading as breakup. Okay, going separate ways. That's what I see here. Because they're hiding something from you. They've broken your heart way too many times, way too many times. 
And at this point, it's embarrassing. You know, it's embarrassing for you, Taurus, to have to put up with this person's BS and they're not stepping up. But you are going to have victory in regards to, I think, new love or maybe a conversation you have with this person could go in your favor. You know, this person may apologize or they may not even answer. But if this person does answer, I think you will get some kind of confession at some point. But I still feel like it's going to leave you heartbroken because, you know, you didn't expect this. You didn't want this to happen. But guess what? It's 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 happened. So take care of yourself, Taurus. That's what I see in the card. So you are going to have victory, which is a, the, the best thing I can say to end this reading is you are going to have victory. So whatever this person does or doesn't do, um, if you play your cards right, it's not going to affect you. All right. Love y'all. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and thumbs up. I will see you in the next video. Bye.